Fame Collector. Here it is. Monday evening. Um, usually I do Tuesday evenings, but I'm gonna knock in, knock out a Monday evening video. Um, <clears throat> this one's gonna be uh, basketball, so uh, I probably expect less views, but it is what it is. Um, trying to play catch up, as you guys know. Um, been very busy. <coughs> But um, most of you don't, don't know that um, they announced the Basketball Hall of Fame class of 2019. And uh, you guys think the Harold Baines thing is crazy? You know, greatest of all time, Harold Baines, you know that guy? Um, so if you think that the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame is uh, kind of diluted with some players, um, basketball's been just getting crazy. They're just too liberal with the people that they're letting in. And Naismith Hall of Fame is... Um, not like Major League Baseball uh, Hall of Fame. It's just basketball in general. So um, it includes uh, WNBA, uh, college, you know, uh, stuff before the NBA, the ABA. And now they have all these crazy committees. So they're always looking to kind of go back and, and add people or whatnot. Uh, kind of diluted. So um, when they announced uh, earlier this year, uh, basically the finalists, um, Chris Weber was somebody that I pretty much thought was a lock. He did not get in, uh, but there was another player that I had already purchased, um, seeing that she was on the list, um, and that is Teresa Weatherspoon. So I'm going to put her up here. Um, excellent player. Um, back in the day, you'll have to look her up. Um, but uh, basically what I was getting to was uh, Basketball Hall of Fame is just insane. Um, they, they enshrine teams, they enshrine players, coaches, referees, contributors, um, you know, centers, guards, forwards. In some circumstances, they actually enter people in twice. A few players that I can think of, like off the top, well, one player I can name off the top of my head would be... Um, Lenny Wilkins, who's, I, I know he's in as a player and also a coach. So, um, anyways, this year they enshrined 10 players, and I think one or two teams, but I don't really care about the teams. Uh, so 10 players, 10, well, 10 people, 10 individuals, and I didn't have any of them. So, you know, it's just like, I didn't have Harold Baines, but I didn't have, uh, I, I didn't have um, anybody, really, except for that person, which I kind of knew was going to come down the road. So, out of the ten, um, I managed to pick up eight really quick. As soon as the announcement was made, uh, I think, on the final during the Final Four, and I got the message, immediately jumped on eBay, was like, holy cow, i got to get all these people now. And they were flying off the shelves on eBay. Managed to get these things quick. At really good prices because all these players were dirt cheap. They still are relatively, but I mean, I got them dirt cheap. So, next one here. Never heard of this guy before in my life. Went in as a contributor. Of course, I always try to get certified on cards. Really sparkly card here. It's a Panini. It is an on card of Al Atles or Atlas Atles. Um, actually a nice looking card but he went in as a contributor um, team executive ambassador, player coach uh, one of five warriors to have his numbers retired uh, he's been with basketball to the capacity of like nearly 60 years um, so yeah that's Al Atles or Atlas in as a contributor Another one here um, I wanted to pick up was, uh, and I got a good deal on this one too, um, and that is Bill Fitch, who is a coach. Um, I like this one. This was the only one on eBay, and I was watching it actually prior to uh, him getting in because uh, I thought he always had an outside chance. Uh, so on card, Bill Fitch, along with Hakeem the Dream, Elijah Wan. Awesome card. Um, I loved Hakeem. Actually, I remember my first pair of nice sneakers in seventh grade were the Hakeem the Dream sneakers. 
Anyway, so Bill Fitch, Hall of Fame. He went in now as a coach. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to go into this crazy stuff. I still have to make the slides for my website. But uh, Bill Fitch, a Hall of Famer now. All right, moving on. Mr. Uh, Strickland in the background there didn't want to stay up. So um, anyways, next one here went in as a player. Another person I did not have. Uh, I'm doing this set. So I did not have them. Obviously, I now added it on the, the list for the set. That is Bobby Jones. This is Panini Preferred Unparalleled. I'm really happy to get this at a really cheap price because they only make 50 for these cards. And I love this card. Um, love the design. You'll see I have plenty of these guys. I want to get all the Hall of Famers. So Bobby Jones, eight-time defensive first team, NBA champion with the Sixers, four-time All-Star. Blah, 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 six-man award. Um, yeah, so Bobby Jones. I've heard of him before. Another one here uh, that got in uh, is Jack Sigma. This is number two. Uh, it's a high number. Uh, out of 299, on-card, really clean autograph. I think I pay like four bucks for it or something like that, $3, $4. So really happy to get that. A new Hall of Famer, Jack Sigma. I think he's a center. Um, yeah, only center in NBA history to lead the league in single season free throw percentage at 92%. Blah, blah, blah. 15.6 points, 9.8 rebounds. Okay. So next one here is another new Hall of Famer player. I've heard of him before. Uh, and that is Paul Westfall. Again, this was really cheap, like five bucks. Panini signatures on card. Like, I like it. Mr. Paul Westfall. Uh, player, five-time All-Star, three-time first team. Champion with the Celtics, 12 NBA seasons. He averaged 15.6 points per game. Blah, 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 blah. Paul Westfall. All right. <clears throat> Next one I was able to get is... A player by the name of Sidney Moncrief. Again, Panini Preferred Unparalleled had him. Really happy to get this. Right before that last one, this card got sucked up by me. Um, really happy to get that. Sidney Moncrief, player, five-time All-Star, two-time Defensive Player of the Year. All defensive team honors for, you know, four times. Blah, blah, blah. 15.6 points per game. Um... So really happy to get that one on card, Sidney Moncrief. And the last one, the eighth new Hall of Famer for 2019 uh, out of 10 <clears throat> uh, is a player that I remember. Um, obviously, I don't think he's a Hall of Famer, uh, but they put him in the international committee. I guess he has a lot of overseas uh, stuff back in the day. <clears throat> and that is Lottie Divac. And I remember him playing, um, again, Panini Preferred, uh, just a newer year. I'm not doing that set, but I wanted that because I love the foil. Um, Yugoslavian, blah, 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 played in the NBA. He had over 13,000 points, 9,000 rebounds, 3,000 assists, 1,500 blocks. Um, Two-time, two European Championship gold medals, FIBA World Championship gold medals. Uh, so yeah, he went in as a player, um, so I think he's the general manager of the Sacramento Kings right now, so he's doing some stuff outside of, uh, you know, being a player, uh, but yeah, so there we go, eight new Hall of Famers, the two that I do not have were two players, two people that are deceased, um, and they're going to be either, I don't know enough about them, uh, to, to know if they're expensive or not. One is Chuck Cooper, and the other one is Carl Braun. So these people I'll have to do some research on. I didn't really see enough stuff online yet to be able to see how, if I'm going to get them or not. But yeah, 10 new Hall of Famers this year. It's crazy. And um, I didn't really prospect any of them besides Weatherspoon. And the year before, there were 13 people. So in the last two years, 23 got in. I mean, crazy, crazy, crazy. It just, I mean, it's... It, 23 and there's 394 in the hall so and so I mean they just added so many in the last two years they really have to calm down um, but yeah that is the Naismith Hall of Fame for you um, so uh, 
you know, just goes to show you, uh, you guys shouldn't be upset about the Harold Baines stuff because uh, the Basketball Hall of Fame is even crazier. I don't know enough about the Football or Hockey Hall of Fame to say anything, but that's the way it is. So there you go, guys. Quick video. Eight new autographs. Brings my total. Um, I have some more to show off, but I'm at 280-something Hall of Famers, different Hall of Famers in basketball. I have 394, so I'm really chugging along. So, uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching.